Welcome to Corel Video Studio Pro Quick Tutorials. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to add transitions to the timeline. A transition is a way for the viewer to see when a topic changes, a setting including place and time. It's just an alert to the viewer that something is changing in the video to help them understand the flow from one topic to the next. It's similar to writing where you have a paragraph with transitional words and you go on to the next paragraph. It just keeps that flow just like it does in video. It goes with writing. So to add a transition in the timeline, click on the transitions category. So you can see it has an A and a B. The A signifies the clip before the transition and you'll see the preview of what it will go to the next clip. So the transition is always between clips, or it may be at the beginning of a clip, or at the end of a clip, at the end of your video project. My Favorites is a place where you can add your own collection, so you don't have to go through so many choices every time you do a project. I'm going to change it to All so we have more choices to choose from. And as I hover over each of these, you can see what the preview will look like. So I think this one's pretty cool. I'm going to use this arrows transition. And now I'm going to take that transition and place it between two clips on my timeline. So all I have to do is drag it down between the two clips and let go. So now you can see right here that I have the alligator. And as I move to me, it switches over to me. Now it's changing time and place because the show is over. And now, after I saw how crazy he was, I decided to hold one myself, which was pretty interesting. But it was awesome to hold a little baby alligator. You can change the duration of the transition by clicking on the transition in the video track or the timeline. And when you hover over the sides of that transition in that yellow box, it will allow you to make the transition longer or shorter. So you'll see what I'm doing right here. I now made the transition longer. So watch as I move the scrubber bar to see how it lengthens the transition. Do you see how it appeared to be a little longer? Now keep in mind that when you lengthen transitions, it will also take away from the original clip. Because keep in mind that when you go to that clip after the transition, it's including the rest of that clip as part of the transition when you lengthen it. So you have to keep that in mind and be careful that you don't make your transitions too long that you miss out on important clips in your video. You can also change the duration from the other side. In this case, I'm going to shorten the duration. Now watch as the transition is a lot faster. So you see how it's a lot faster. And that's all there's to it to adding transitions to the timeline and how to change the duration.